Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I have a really nice uh, Power Query tip for you. We are going to learn how to change column names in bulk and we're going to do it with a specific example. This is a tip that I got from one of you, so I'm really excited to share it with you. If this is something that you would like to do, stay tuned. So in a previous video, I was showing you how to trim or remove spaces in column headers in Power Query. And I did that actually in three steps. And I sent you a challenge if you knew or if you had the time to see how to do that in one step. And one of you actually did it. And that was uh, Emin. And uh, he was looking into that and found that the way to do it was using this Power Query function. And this is really, really cool. I'm going to show you how to do it live. And uh, if you have the possibility, go and give a thumbs up to I mean for sharing with us this trick. So here we are in Power Query. We're using the same example that we used on that video. And here you can see that we have um, blanks. You cannot see it here, but you can actually see it here. You see that there are blanks in the header names. So if I double click, you will see like in Excel that, you know, those are blanks and it's not so good to have them because you, you don't really realize it until it's too late. So I share a tip to how to fix this. And for that, I transposed and then transposed back. But it means trick is so much cooler. So here's what we're going to do to use that function. We're going to go to the advanced editor and we want to do the change as soon as possible in our transformations. I actually want to do it after I promote the headers. And what we do is we go here, we write a name for the function, trim blanks. And now we actually write the formula that Emin gave us, which is this one. So we're going to use table transform column name. So let's see what that is. We go in here and what Microsoft says that it is a function that transform column names by, you know, whatever you want them to do. So in this case, what we're going to do is transform column names by removing blanks. So let's go back to our example. And what we need to do is changing a few things on his uh, function. The reason for that is that this step is referring to the source. I guess that in his example, he could do that directly from the source. We have to promote the blanks. And what we need to do is to trim in this step when the headers have been promoted. So we just remove that. And we put a comma there and we click done. And you might expect the change type to actually break because you can say, okay, I didn't, I do not have any blanks anymore, but that's not really the truth because if you can see here, let's go back to the editor. If you can see here, the change type step is still referring to the promoted headers where there are still blanks. So if I would change that to the next step where I would like to change the type, ah, uh, so in there. Then you're going to get an error. You see, because now it's not finding as it should the, uh, the right names because the headers in this step, they have no blanks anymore. Okay. So you have to actually remove this step and transform these manually. So you change those to text and those are whole numbers. So really nice trick, right? So rem remember, they will transform column names if you want to make any kind of transformation in headers in Power Query. 
Great trick. Thank you, Amin. Super cool trick. So this is all for today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, let me know by liking it. If you have the possibility and you know anybody that will enjoy the video too, please share it with them. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions on the videos, just let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power VI videos every week. Have a great day. Bye.